Hello guys, welcome to Expertiser Academy. So today we're going to see how to use construction lines and what is it for and uh, what is the purpose of uh, having a construction line in AutoCAD. So that's what we're going to see. All right, for the first case, let's say, what is it construction line? Construction line are lines that is used for references. So these are the lines that you cannot print it. So they are not print non printable uh, objects. So these lines are used to check whether the objects uh, that is lying around your screen or aligning in a particular uh, orientation. Let's say it's horizontally aligned or vertically aligned to a specific angle. It's aligned or um, things like that. So that's the purpose of the construction line. Say you can actually uh, draw a line like a poly line or a regular line to check if the objects are aligned. Let's say if these objects or you're actually it's a pretty large project and uh, so right now we have three boxes uh, on a horizontal alignment let's say down the track it's going to be around 200 of them so how are you going to keep extending the polyline to actually uh, compare check if it is actually going to be aligned or not and moreover the polyline is going to get printed so you need to create a non-plot layer to print it uh, to, to keep it from printing so you see like it actually adds more of these unwanted details to the drawing so that is why we use construction lines the construction lines are lines which runs from infinity that means from one to an end another end to the drawing as long as the drawing is extending you will see the construction lines they, they, they're not finite lines and these lines when they're drawn um, so they they pretty much it sits on the screen and um, it doesn't get printed and um, so the other things that you can also do is um, uh, these construction lines you can draw in different options one is horizontal vertical angular bisect and offset and let's say the horizontal option basically you just go to the horizontal option and then snap it and it gives you a horizontal uh, line so now if you see like one of the objects is not a line so if you want it you can move it across so the um, let's quickly run through this the keyboard shortcut is excel and then you click horizontal and then you should be able to see the construction line as you can see it's running from one end to the other end and uh, so you can use it for comparing from one side of the drawing to the other side of the drawing doesn't matter how long it is and uh, even you can actually align objects with the help of the construction line as well uh, which will be really helpful and um, next one is vertical so you can use that to snap the construction line uh, the vertical construction line to an object and it gives you the vertical lines uh, with that you can actually uh, check the alignment of the objects in the vertical orientation so next one uh, we're going to use the angular so you can specify the angle and then um, it, it gives you the construction line in a particular angle and um, some of the things that you can also do is um, uh, once you create one of these lines you can select them and then you can copy them over and over again just like any other line that you would do uh, so that's also available so next thing is we will try construction line bisect option so the bisect is basically dividing uh, for if you select two points let's say for example two angles it will bisect it and it'll actually create the construction line in the middle let's say I got the uh, reference line from from zero degrees so when I actually move it let's say to 90 degrees 45 degrees and things like that the construction line um, will be the half of that angle so if I draw it for let's say around 45 degrees and uh, the construction line will be at let's say 22.5 degrees if i draw the uh, construction line at um, let's say uh, to, to 30 degrees the uh, the reference line at 30 degrees the construction line will be at 15 degrees and if i go at 90 degrees the construction line will be at 45 degrees so that's the uh, advantage of the construction line bisect option which just uh, gives you some uh, quick options to draw those ones next one is offset offset is typical like an AutoCAD offset command you can choose an offset distance and then you can select the construction line and then you can create an um, offset construction line and you can create any number of construction lines you can even use your offset command for this one so they both work in the same base and um, so that's all the basics about the construction line feel free to use it on your drawing and this will not affect any of your design objects or it will not get it will it will not get printed on the, to the onto the paper as well so which is really cool all right guys um keep watching so i'll add some more videos as well if you have any questions uh, we'll catch up in the comment section thank you so much